T-Rex fans, Todd Kerber here. Today's subject, reverse gearbox on the BMW platform, engagement issues, and a repair. Uh, this has been common to the BMWs from approximately 2013 to 2020, but we've got a solution for you. Uh, Randy Mansberger, he's our uh, local mechanic, SRQ Terror, basically uh, Sun Coast of Florida, Central Florida, covering uh, Sarasota, Bradenton, Parrish, Palmetto, about an hour below Tampa. So Randy has a 2019 BMW, and when he'd go out, sometimes he'd have to reset his reverse gearbox uh, for engagement several times. He did it, uh, had a fix for it, he came up with it uh, about three months ago, and he's not had one single fault since then. So we think we got it for all you guys. Repair is easy to do if you're a dealer, a mechanic, or mechanically inclined. Durand Burnside, Trek site dealer up in Atlanta, Georgia. That's where I buy all my parts from. Uh, obviously, if you need a new T-Rex or a used T-Rex or aftermarket parts, uh, look up uh, Duren. I will put Randy and Duren's information at the end of this video. You can pause it, give them a call. Don't want to do this repair yourself and live in Central Florida and want Randy to do it or live in Atlanta, Georgia area or be willing to take it to them, they'll charge a $100 nominal fee to do the work for you. All right, we've got a 2015 BMW here. Uh, it's one of our SRQ Terror members. All right, here's the parts that you need. <laughs> Literally only about $3 worth of parts, guys. Um, so hopefully the camera will pick this up. Uh, we're gonna use four nylon flat washers, 5 16 We're gonna use two nylon spacers uh, they're half inch, I guess a quarter inch is the inside diameter. And then we're going to use four or six of these, Randy, six of these nylon quarter inch washers. And all bought from Lowe's. Uh, obviously, you can get them other places. Randy's going to get started. All right. First thing, two 10 millimeters right back here. Ratcheting uh, ratchets are a lifesaver. And Randy, this is a window motor from Ford. Ford window motor. Randy, loosen the bolts up ahead of time. Make the video go quicker. Okay, this spacer you are not going to reuse. The bolt you will. We want to tell anybody how this thing works too. Hop on to one so okay. I uh, get it where they can actually see it. All right, perfect. Randy's done this about a thousand times. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. So, what this, how this operates, is here's your window motor runs on this gear. Once uh, you hit reverse, it turns this gear. So that way, this gear rides on this bracket. When this pin is out, you only have reverse. So what it's doing is when you turn on the bike, it's turning that gear, it's pushing this bracket down and pushing that pin in to activate your four gears. When you hit reverse, it's, rever it's reversing the window motor and it's pulling and making this bracket come out where this pin can come out and that's what's activating reverse. The only way it fails if it doesn't um, activate the uh, reverse. It will, it'll go forward all day. Okay, all right. All right. So this is a six, um, six Allen. Okay. The bolts were 10 millimeter. And you're pulling that piece out. Yep. bracket okay. 
So you're going to take your 5 16 nylons. I put one on top. You're just trying to separate metal from metal so you don't have no heat transfer. So the nylon washers on both sides of those two bolts. Correct. So that way you don't have no heat transfer. Got it. Yeah. Put those in there, line them up, just crack it down, do them by hand. Now remember, these are nylon, so you don't want to go crazy tight and just torque them down just where they're snug. Oh, definitely light. Yeah. Yeah. So almost loose, Randy. Just a little snug. Just yep. tiny snug. Yep. Not tight. That's important, guys. You don't want to split them. I would have cranked them. No. Just enough. It's secure. All right. Here's second. Well, this is the fun part. All right. So while this is out of the way, I usually lay it right here on the side. What you're going to want to do? Uh, come over to the bike. What's going to happen? And you can watch that window motor. When you turn on the bike, it should turn the window motor. All right. Yep. Turn off. Gotta reset it. Okay. So six of those. Yep. We'll be using. So, pretty much, what I've done is those match up to that. Now your nylons are a little bit thinner, so I just use what I've done on my personal one is I put one, one, and then one on top, and that brings it to be in the same um, height or same. Got you it. Know, Got it. I try yep. to match up as perfect, you know, as possible. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to show you what I kind of do without it because it's going to be hard to see. So I put a nylon washer through here. It's going to go through the bracket. Then you're going to stack these. So your bracket's going to be, so say your bracket's right here. Then you're going to stack these like that. And then your the, the actuator is going to go into here so just imagine this being the bracket so that's pretty much how you're going to stack them up okay we're going to watch you do it so the back one is tricky because you got to what you got to do put this put the flat washer put it through the hole back here all right flat washer <clears throat> This is where you're making the thickness of that steel uh, yep. okay. spacer. So now, when you have them all there, you have I to got it. bring Good. the screw back just a little bit. Okay. Put your window motor. Now, this bracket's got to touch this. You wanna, yeah. Do it again. Okay. Put that, that gear in the center goes into this hole. You can see it through here. There's a hole right there. Uh, I can't see with your finger there. Okay, got okay. it. So what you're gonna do, put that in the hole. Okay. And then rotate it down so it matches the, um, the um, gear on the bracket. Okay. I'm gonna get a little close to you, sorry, Randy. So we hopefully get that. Okay. Okay. So basically, the lever yep. towards us, gear goes in that hole, then, and line the screw screws yep. up with the other two holes. Yeah. I just finger tight it just to get it where it's there. Grab your ten millimeter. Good. Yep. It's 
So he's doing the back bolt now. So back bolt is in and just uh, starting to tighten up. The gear is in the hole with this lever down towards you, and then we'll do the other bolt on oh, this side. So there you go. Got it. Okay, everybody got it? Okay. All right, now we're going to do the same with this one. Should be so, able to get this one. Yeah, so bolt. This one's easier because we can see it. So bolt here, spacer, two flat washers. So this one you can actually Let's see. Yep, perfect. Put it, flat washer. Face flat washer. Perfect. Alright. And you're just gonna meet it up. Let me get a good picture of that, Randy, real quick with your hands on there. So there it is. That's gonna be on the other side too. Bolt, spacer, the bracket, the spacers that match the uh, metal spacers you removed to keep the heat off the window motor. Been doing pretty good. I've had it. It was 106 degrees in Orlando, and I didn't have one issue. That's awesome. All right, so now you gotta remember these are nylon. So here again, don't go crazy with them. Just kind of snug them. Doesn't have to be super tight. Tight. Yeah, well, not tight. Absolutely. I think that's important, guys, watching him. He barely had him snug. Yeah, so I think uh, something to remember. Yep. All right. That's it. That's it. Holy cow, that's it. Do a little test here now after the repair. And this bike was not engaging reverse. Walk everybody through the proper, proper way. So make sure it's in neutral. Hold it down two seconds, start releasing the clutch, you're in reverse. Two, two seconds? Yeah. Okay. Two seconds. And what happens if uh, if you leave it in first, like us Kawasaki guys, that's how we switch, nothing will happen? Nothing. You can hold on all day. Okay. All right. So, it's gotta be so, neutral. so neutral, two seconds on the switch. Yeah. There you go. And uh, it's in reverse. Show us. Yeah. Look at that. Remember how I usually clanked? Nothing. You're yep. in first. No clanking. All right. Much smoother. Awesome, Randy. Awesome. Beautiful. Randy Mansberger came up the repair that's working. All right. Pin in is first gear. When the pin comes out at the bottom there, it's reverse and just showed you here how it's working. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.